What is the flipped classroom? In 2007, Jonathan Bergman and Aaron Sams, two chemistry teachers, joined together to make video recordings of their classes for students who, for whatever reason, couldn't attend the class and therefore couldn't access the content of the classroom. They realised that these recordings were also followed by an important number of students who did attend the class. In this way, the students took advantage of the classroom to solve doubts and perform different activities related to the contents. The flipped classroom is a pedagogical mo model in which students have access to contents of subjects outside of the classroom, using the material created by the teacher for this purpose. This allows them access at any time. The work in the classroom consists of clarifying, deepening, working with and securing the concepts learnt. A flipped classroom, or inverted classroom, owes its name to the characteristics that differentiate it from the traditional teaching methodology, because it's a learning model that follows the opposite process. In the traditional model, students go into the classroom and the teacher transmits the knowledge. The students then review and analyse the contents at home. On the contrary, in the flipped classroom, the teacher provides the students with contents which will be discussed before they meet in the classroom. You can use videos, presentations, links to different web pages, many other methods. When the students arrive in the classroom, they share the learned information with the rest of their classmates and make different tasks cooperative and collaboratively. The teacher, on the other hand, answers questions that have arisen values the acquisition of knowledge and guides the learning of the student to consolidate them. A flipped classroom allows, through different technology, to provide students with a means of learning in which they direct themselves, being the teacher, a guide of the whole process. This model allows learning to be adapted to the personal needs of each student. If students are unable to attend the class, they can still access the contents and therefore don't fall behind with their studies. In addition, it provides the possibility of meaningful learning by sharing in the classroom with the rest of their classmates what they've learned at home. Blended learning or mixed learning, can be online and face-to-face, -face, can support the flipped classroom. Blended learning uses ICT to achieve greater efficiency in the teaching and learning process, combining them with the face-to-face -face way. This model of learning also works the elements that are part of the cognitive dimension of Bloom's taxonomy. The objectives that are achieved in the classroom are the higher order dimensions such as evaluation, synthesis, analysis and application. While the dimensions order understanding and knowledge would be re relegated to the tasks to be performed autonomously by the student and facilitated by the teacher. The advantages of this model, both for teachers and students, are diverse. On one hand, students can access the contents learning at their own place. They can reflect on the content. Meaningful learning is generated. The learning is focused on allowing diversity also, students increase their responsibility in learning with their work outside and inside the classroom. Families, on the other hand, are more involved in the teaching learning process as they witness the whole process. To apply this learning model in the classroom, we need to consider different aspects that facilitate its implementation and effectiveness in its application. The learning environment must be flexible for the students, offering different means to facilitate their learning. They must present content graded in difficulty so that all students can access them without problems, thus taking care of diversity. The contents that are presented must be the most relevant for each topic. Finally, the teacher must use the classroom environment to reinforce and evaluate the knowledge acquired. The tools used to implement this model will depend upon the objectives pursued at any given time. Although an educational video may prove the easiest resource to use, it's not the only one. There are multiple tools that allow you to present the contents according to the specific needs. Mm -hmm.